is what it is. My name's Sauce Man, and this week has been a, a real busy week in West Philadelphia and all around the city. There's been a lot of things going on. So this episode, we're going to show y'all some other things other than just music. Uh, there was like some, a lot of community events and, and then a lot of rallying. We got to stand up for the right things that's right. So go ahead and stay tuned for what you're about to see. And I hope you're riding with it. Mega. Shout out to Get It In Entertainment. We're here today uh, in support of uh, Brother Askia Sabor, who was savagely beat down by uh, six police officers in the 19th Police District. Uh, today was his first hearing. It got continued because allegedly the police weren't prepared to testify uh, th those who were accused um, and those who were also on the scene. And they're also under investigation by Internal Affairs. Uh, but at this point, uh, the world has seen the video of Askia Sabor being brutally beaten. If not, Google it. Askia, A-S-K-I-A, Sabor, S-A-B-U-R. Um, and speak out. You know, this video may go anywhere. So if you're experiencing police brutality in Philadelphia or anywhere around the world, organize, mobilize, and speak out. Know your constitutional rights. And, and when, in doing so, when you unite around that and fight against injustice, you'll be victorious. Again, shouts out to Get It Entertainment. Get It Entertainment. Good peace. My name is Rel. I represent the Poor Righteous Party of the Black Nation. I'm here in support of Brother Oscar Sabor and his family and the whole black community. Pretty much with this situation here is just all about standing up and fighting for the rights of our people and our communities. We have a right to convene in any area we would like to and what have you, as long as you're not committing any crime and whatnot. We also have to redefine the relationship between the police and the community because the community has to have more control into what the police do and what have you, have more rights to be able to stand up against what the police do to us and what have you. So we're just here today to stand in support of Brother Askia. We're about to go down to the Conestoga spot and talk more about what we can do. And we also have a meeting this Wednesday at uh, 6 o'clock and I think the date for this Wednesday is... Today is what, the 20th? Or that would be the 22nd. 22nd. Uh, September. That's September at, what's that, 53rd and meeting, and what have you. So if you can make it, come on out, support Brother Askia, support, support, and the whole black community. Peace. Peace. Right. Get it in entertainment. All right. Hey, we there. You see we here, get it in entertainment. Okay. Right here, 56 Pine, whatever, right in front of you. Reppin' Brother Askia, we there with you. We're gonna follow you all the way. Get it in. Peace. What's up? We out here with my man, Brother Dion. You know what I'm saying? He gonna run it down to the Black People's Court. We gonna let y'all know the whole movement and what's going down. Yeah, what's going on, y'all? Who, who the means freedom? Like my brother said, my name is Diop. I'm the president of the International People's Democratic Uhuru Movement. You know what I mean? We're a worldwide organization. We believe that black people must unite. And we got to fight for the right to be a self-governing people. We have to control our own courts, our own police. Because when you look at what's going on, what happened to my man, Askia, you see that the police not out here to defend us or serve our interests. When you see how the courts just uh, convicted me of attacking the police, even though I was attacked just for holding up a sign saying stop the war in the black community, you see that the courts can never give justice to African people. As a matter of fact, on October 13th, we're going to be holding the March for Black Justice. The March for Black Justice, calling for justice for African people. We call it for, first of all, a community controlled investigation of the criminal justice system itself. We're talking about every African who's been framed up, every African that's gotten messed up by the police, every African who's had a judge sell them out. You know that they're giving you convictions for money, right? Because in prisons, give good money for locking us up. And we want an investigation about all of these crimes committed against our people. So October 13th, we're calling for the investigation of the criminal justice system. We're calling for the immediate prosecution and imprisonment of all these dirty judges, these dirty cops, these dirty DAs and lawyers. And finally, and most importantly, we're calling for the immediate release of all African people that's locked up as a result of these anti-black profit-driven policies in the city of Philadelphia. So we stand in support of my man representing Parkside. You know what I mean? This people getting in entertainment, getting in entertainment. Don't forget the name. 
Uhuru means freedom all day. What man? It's going down since the clearing my Ahmed Park. We out here pitting on a little performance, you know what I'm saying? Like, we try to stay constructive every day. Like, all the A&Rs out there, we try to stay constructive every single day. I mean, we doing this, we doing that, but we try to stay positive. This for the community right here. I mean, we pitting on the show for the community. Back to school, we're going to be giving out free book bags. Tell the kids to go to school, don't be cutting classes and all of that. Like, we try to keep the kids positive, man. Real rap. Like, everybody know me in the streets, but everybody know I'm still real. So, part of being real is keeping it real. You think? So, we out here, Sister Claire Mohammed Park, like I just told you, depending on the performance. But who else do you know? Like, real rap between me and you. Who else you know knocking off community service hours by putting on a performance? Like, it's going down. I'm knocking off community service hours, like, with the courts just to do a performance today. Like, real rap. Like, like we bosses out here. We doing boss things. Like, people can't make moves like us. We're going to show the world. It's going down. It's for the community. Since the Claire Muhammad Park, one more time, give them their big ups. You know what I'm saying? I got the boy Michael Nutter coming out here. supposed to be checking up on me. But he's going to watch my performance out here. You know what I'm saying? Vanessa Brown. You know what I'm saying? She's going to be out here. It's going down. You dig me? Like, we got the kids out here. One. My name is Sam Hughes. I'm a rising poet. Um, the name of my poetry is Quotes of a Single Mind. My purpose is to connect with all mothers, children, fathers who take care of children. Um, my peace of mind is my quiet time for me to write my poet, uh, poetry, for me to express how I feel. The name of my poet, my name of my poem today is Quotes of a Single Mind. How determined am I to take care of mine? I am not the first and I won't be the last. Daddy said, but mommy led. Don't stress me, impress me. I can recall what you did because I can see it clearly in my head. Another woman couldn't take my place because when you look at my kids, you always see this face. Uh, yeah. You may not uh, think this is for you, it might just be directed to you. Uh, uh, Watch the company that you keep who go behind your back when you sleep. Uh, when I say watch the company that you keep, ladies, Watch the company that you keep who go behind your back when you sleep. Remember, temporary fun doesn't make a permanent plan and never step on a woman's shoes because she just might get an attitude. You turn all these negative germs into a positive term, you have simply satisfied and determined quotes from a single mind.